Taylor Swift has a new lawsuit to shake off. Now it's no secret that players are gonna play and haters are gonna hate. But can you copyright lyrics about playing and hating? A California federal judge has been asked to consider just that. The songwriters behind 3LW's Play Is Gone Play say Taylor Swift's Shake It Off infringes on their lyrics. In the year 2001, the girl group sang this. More than a decade before Swift said this. Sean Hall and Nathan Butler co-wrote the 3LW song and claim they popularized the now ubiquitous phrase about players and haters. Attorney Gerard Fox also writes in the complaint, in all, Play Is Gone Play prominently features a sequence of four peoples, playas, haters, callers, and ballers, who engage in four activities, playing, hating, calling, and balling. Plaintiffs were the first to put such a sequence together, using the terms playas and haters. And prior to defendants' use at issue herein, the combination had not since been used in popular music. Hall and Butler say Swift's song copies the four-part lyrical sequence, but instead of callers and ballers, she sings about heartbreakers and fakers. They say it's standard industry practice to clear use of lyrics with the copyright owners even if they're not repeated verbatim. A rep for the Look What You Made Me Do singer issued a statement Tuesday in response to the lawsuit saying, this is a ridiculous claim and nothing more than a money grab. The law is simple and clear. They do not have a case. You might recall when Swift previously defeated a similar suit over lyrics from Jesse Bram, who said she copied the hook from his song, Haters Gone Hate. In that case, U.S. Magistrate Judge Gail Standish explained Bram's failure to state a claim and wrote, At present, the court is not saying that Bram can never, ever, ever get his case back in court. But for now, we have got problems, and the court is not sure Bram can solve them. At least for the moment, defendants have shaken off this lawsuit. Look what you made that judge do. For more on this story, check out THR.com and be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.